Grace today and I'm going to read the Bible story. Where am I to read now? Oh, here. I have to read that. Wait a minute. The words first cream. After Adam and Eve had been cast out from the garden of Eden, their lives was hard to harsh. However, God made sure it wasn't always all strangle and sorrow in time he sent the couple children and they were overjoyed the first baby born to Eve was a little boy whom they called Chain. I think he's Chain. Their second was also a boy whom they named Abel. Both sons grew up to be healthy, strong, and hardworking. Cain became a farmer, while Abel chose to be a shepherd. However, the two young boys were different. Person, oh, person. This apple was good, natured, kind, and caring, but his big brother but his big brother came was bad, tempered, and moody. Then came to a heart one day. When Chain and Apple paint their respects of God, they each proud and offered him a gift. Abel selected the <sighs> finest and fatness of his ship. for his offering to God and Cain delivered the very best of his groups and fruits. God was healthy pleased with Apple, but he not only turned down Cain's offering. He also told him of instead of being ashamed, Cain was furious 
and his face looked like thunder. Why are you so angry? And why have you got that skull on your face? God demanded. it. If you behave well, of course, I will be happy to accept your offering. Cain stopped it off totally feet up with God and burning with jewels of his younger brother. He could have thought, brother, what God had said and tried to turn over a new leaf, but he didn't. Instead, he allowed himself to be swallowed up by. Cain gave this an apple. I Cain gave straw and fruit. And Abel have given God a very fat and very healthy ship. and had dirt <coughs> and all he could think of was hurting his brother. Cain told it how to do this. He invited Abel to go with him to some distant fields deep in the countryside where they were all alone. They three came, suddenly turned on his younger brother in a vicious attack and soon Abel was laying dead on the ground. King Coley returned home as sought. Nothing had happened. He was sure that no one had seen him and that he would get away with his treble frame. But of course, God knew everything that he had done. Cain, where are you? Where is your brother? God told it. How do you know? Crane replied readily. I am not my brother. I am not. My brother's keeper. Then God boomed. Cain, was here. Cain, what have you done? I can see your brother's blood setting the earth red. It is crying out of out to me. Telling of you, dread feel the dead deed. From now on, the earth will be not grow anything for you ever again. 
I am sending your you to life far away where Are far away. I do longer have to look at you. You can wander homeless from the rest of your days. Cain fell to his knees in despair. Please, God, he stopped this at Triple punishment, not only are you driving me from my home and all that I know, you are sending my creation that if strange. Find my wandering hungry as helpless. They are brown to kill me. But God had God had had enough of voiceless and wondered he put a special mark on Can King that commanded that no one hurt him. Then God sent him away far far beyond Eden to a distant east stern land called Lod. Poor Adam and Eve had lost their first two children, but God took pity on them once more. Once more, He sent Eve other babies, beginning with a son, son said and so the couple were confirmed and lived to search a great old age that they had the happiness of seeing many Generations of grandchildren born to them. Yes, next time I will read Noah and the Ark. It was fun. Then, bye.